new Blight League was released a few days ago and so far I'm having a blast. I really like the League mechanics and the build I choose to play. It is a Slayer Blade Flurry. I was first thinking about playing Inquisitor, but on the day League was released I decided to go with Slayer. I plan to scale only physical damage, so buying or crafting gear should be a bit cheaper and with Slayer passive cannot take reflected physical damage, it will be much easier to roll maps. My goal this league is to improve my time on Uber Elder. In Legion League I made my best time so far, 2 minutes and 5 seconds, using my low life essence drain build. I hope with Blade Flurry I will be able to improve this time as this skill is known to have a huge single target damage. Let's start with leveling. With new leak, don't forget to update your loot filter. I'm using Neversings, you can find a link in the description. When I reached the town, I got Crown Slam from Vendor. Now I looked for two hand weapon with three linked sockets, two red and one green. Found a nice two hand mace, links are Crown Slam, Chance to Bleed, Onslaught. To get Onslaught support gem, I finished Mercy mission. Besides Quicksilver Flask, as reward for this quest, you can get the Onslaught support gem. As you level up, be sure to visit Vendor and check for boots with movement speed. After you finish quest breaking some eggs, you should pick 3 new gems. Ancestor Protector Totem, Dash your first movement skill and first aura gem blood and scent. After you defeat Brutus, you can replace Dash with a new movement skill, Lip Slam, and Chance to Bleed you can replace with new support gem, Mame. While leveling I did many Blight encounters as the way to get nice experience and loot. This time I got nice unique gloves. If you buy or find Essence of Contempt, you can use to greatly increase damage of your weapon. Also, to boost your damage, try to find or buy Wild Double Strike. After you defeat Mirvil, you can replace Ground Slam with a new skill gem, Thunder. Here is a list of skill and support gems you should use as you level up and finish quests in Act 2. In Act 2 you can do the first quest for Master Einhard. While I was looking for the rare beast, I found something much better. The King of Rats crate. That was almost better than. In Act 3, I got a nice weapon upgrade. Here is one Blight encounter with this new weapon. My spirit is spent. Too close to my pump. 
here is a list of skill and support gems you should use as you level up and finish quest in Act 3. And here is my passive tree with 28 spent passive points. In Act 4 you should look for nice one hand foils to start using blade flurry. Try to find foils with high attack speed and minimum of 100 physical dps. Also you can start using cast when damage taken linked with immortal call, increased duration and enfeeble. At the time I level up, one hand foils was really expensive, so I continue using my two hand mains until in Act 5 I found a nice upgrade. No jury. From first labyrinth I picked Impact. And in the Cruel Labyrinth I spent two passive on Headsman. At level 68 I got from trade two unique one head weapons with nice 320 physical dps. They are not as good as foils but will help with farming low tier maps until I get enough currency to craft better one head weapons. In Mercer's Labyrinth before the first trial don't forget to pick a really important crafting recipe. Navigate your and here is the final fight with the boss. With two new passive points I picked Bane of Legends, though as soon as I craft fast one hand foils I will respect and pick Overwhelm. And here is Kitara fight in Act 10. My spirit is spent. Also, here are some boss fights from low tier maps and one fight with tier 9 map boss.
My spirit is spent. At the moment I am level 80 and here are my gear, skill and support gems. In my body armor I have Blade Flurry, melee physical damage, Impale, Rage, Pulverize and Chance to Bleed. Besides these 5 support gems you can use Fortify, Infuse Channeling, Maim, Brutality, Increase Area of Effect and for single target damage you can use Concentrated Effect. I tried all these gems and for these weapons I found these 5 support gems to work the best. In my weapon I have Ancestral Warchief linked with Rootless and Maim. In my second weapon I have Blood Rage, Dread Banner and Precision level 1. In my helmet I have Lip Slam linked with Fortify, Endurance Charge on Melee Stun and faster attacks. In my gloves I have Val Double Strike linked with Brutality, Ruthless and Melee Physical Damage. In my boots I have Pride, Blood and Sand, Berserk and Flash and Stone. I'm using two Life Flask, Divine Life Flask, one Diamond Flask of Hit, so I have immunity to freeze and I have unique a granite flask Lion Roar. Uh, it give, this flask gives huge melee physical damage during flask effect. And at the end I have Quicksilver flask with immunity to bleeding. At the moment my mana is reserved for Flash and Stone, Pride and level 1 precision. When I get level at least level 3 and Lighten I will also use Blood and Scent. Now I will show you my passive tree. For the end here is a little bonus gameplay. I was lucky to get one of the 5 new Zana unique maps, so now I can show you my fight with Synthesis boss. Will serve, and so will you. A 
Open your mind and be erased. <laughs> I am everywhere. Be still. Friendship becomes a betrayal given enough time. I believe in traveling light. <laughs>